You can turn any shape into 3D with Photoshop and Firefly super easily. It's a child's play. You can have a textured surface, a reflective surface, dramatic lighting, spotlight, whatever you want. It is limitless and you completely control how the shape is going to be. I'm super excited to share this with you. So without any further ado, let's get started. Back in the magical world of Photoshop and if you want to go ahead and download any of the resources shown in this video, check the links in the description. And before we begin, wanted to quickly let you know that the Black Friday Cyber Monday deal on Piximperfect Pro is ending very, very soon. So if you want to master Photoshop from start to finish and beyond, definitely check out Piximperfect Pro, the ultimate way to master Photoshop. We have over 100 lessons, 200 plus practice projects, and everything is designed to make you the master of concepts. So you never have to memorize the steps in Photoshop. So just check it out, see what is included only on Piximperfect.com or click the link in the description. Back to the video, the first thing we need to do is to figure out what the shape is going to be. For it, let's go to File, New to create a new document. Inside of that, let's go to Art and Illustration and let's create a 2000 by 2000 pixel grid. You can also manually type in here. Let's type in Smiley and click on Create. There you go. Now you can import whatever kind of shape you want or even create your own shape. We're going to get to that in the second example. For now, let us import a Smiley. So here's an emoji and let's drag and drop it over the canvas. Let's make it slightly larger. Now we could have directly uploaded this to Firefly, but that wouldn't allow us to control the framing and the styling and the environment. So let's make it slightly larger up to this, hit enter or return. And for the background, just above the background layer, we are going to select the rectangular marquee tool and create a rectangle like this. I'm just trying to create a horizon and a sense that the smiley is sitting on a floor. Since we like to work non-destructive, with the background layer selected just above it, click on the adjustment layer icon and choose solid color. And here we can change the color anytime to whatever we wish. So let's have it light gray. This is fine. Hit OK. It gives a sense of the floor. It's ready. Let's export it. Let's go to File, Export, and then Export As. You can also quick export as a PNG. Doesn't matter. Basic settings are fine click on export. The smiley name already shows up and that is the advantage of naming the documents while you're creating it. Click on save. And now we need to go to firefly.adobe.com. Don't worry, even if you're using a free version of Photoshop or a different kind of Photoshop, you still get 25 credits to play with absolutely for free. Right in here, describe how you want the shape to be, how the environment is and how you want the lighting to be. So I'm just going to type shiny metal ball with reflective surface in a dark grungy background with dramatic lighting. Let's hit generate. Right now, we are only determining the style. We are going to transfer the shape that we created later. So this is fantastic, by the way. You can go with any one of these or try one more time. This is pretty fast. I'm not speeding this video up. It's just done. So far, if you ask me, I still like the first one. So you see this pencil icon here? Click on it and choose Use as Style Reference. You see what we are doing here? We are using this as a style. Now we need to import our shape that we just created. And for that, scroll down and in here in the composition section, click on this button, locate the smiley shape that we created, click on it and click on open. Hit continue. This is a disclaimer. Once the shape is uploaded, you need to decide how similar the result is going to be to the shape that you just created. For that, let's increase the strength all the way up like Fat Joe so that it's exactly similar. And I'm just going to add shiny metal emoji bomb. We don't really have to add it, but it helps. And dramatic lighting. Actually, let's go with dramatic spotlight lighting on the floor and then click on generate. And here is going to be your magic. Oh my God, this is just insane. The first one is insane. The second one is insane. And whatever you like, let's say you like this, click on it and you can actually upscale it if you wish to. And that also costs a credit, by the way. But this is just insane. I'm just stunned. Imagine the kind of experiments you can do with it. You can keep on clicking generate after generate and this just continues to surprise you. Now this was a simple shape. What if the shape was a little more complex like the text in your name? Let's go with that. Again go to file, new to create a new document or control or command N, create a 2000 pixel grid or just type it in here or go to art and illustration 2000 pixel grid and this time you can type in your name and create. Select the text tool, type in your name or initials, whatever you want. I'm going to type in UD. Let's select the move tool, control or command T and let's resize it. Let's keep it this much. All right, let's make it smaller so that the environment has some space as well. Let's double click on the T and let's color it gray. At the top, in the options bar, remember, the options bar control the options for 
whatever tool is activated. So let's go with something like this. Hit OK. Now, if you just upload it like this, it's not going to create anything 3D. Let me share it with you. If I go to File, Export, let's quick export as a PNG. Let's name it Name 2D and click on Save. Back in Firefly, if we change the composition reference by closing this one, clicking on it again and select Name 2D, even if we type Silver Bar 3D text and click on generate it's going to generate that text it looks fantastic by the way but it's kind of 2d so to make it 3d we have to create that 3d shape let's find a quick and dirty way to turn this 3d in photoshop we just have to make the 3d silhouette with the text layer selected make a copy of it press ctrl or command j to make a duplicate select the one beneath it and then press ctrl or command t and just move it like so hit enter or return now we need to differentiate it. So double click on the T, click here and change the color maybe to black. That works. Now to make the D stand out, keep in mind, we're just giving the silhouette, the shape information to Firefly. So we just have to keep the colors in a way that it differentiates. For example, if the D was even closer, this black and this black would connect and it would actually connect the shape, which we don't want. Therefore, I recommend double click on the T here, select the D and let us change it to something like dark red. All right, hit OK. For the top layer, double click on the T and then select the D and let's change it to brighter red just to differentiate it. Now the shape is not connected. Let's do it again quick and dirty. Just above this, create a new layer, select the polygonal lasso tool right here and then just join these. Just click, click. I know this is not the nicest way of doing it, but it works. Once the selection is active, Alt Backspace or Option Delete. Similarly, let's do it right here. Click, click, done. You want to make sure that the foreground color is black. It should match with whatever the color of that thing is. You can also add to the selection. Hold the Shift key. This turns into Polygonal Lasso Plus. Click and let's add this one here. All right, that was not proper, but don't worry about it right now. We have two selections, Alt Backspace, Option Delete, Control or Command D. Similarly, let's do it right here again. Click, click, done. Hold the Shift key. This turns into plus, click. All right, we may have to try that again. Okay, this works. Complete the selection. With the selection active, this time we need to set the foreground color to Click on it, set it to this color, pick this color. You want to make sure sample all layers is selected and that color is picked. Hit OK. Alt Backspace, Option Delete, Control or Command D. It's ready. Now let's export it. Go to File, Export. You can also choose Quick Export as a PNG. Let's name it Name 3D. Click on Save. Now before we transfer the shape, let us determine what we want this style to be. Let's do something different. Let's go with a silver bar on sand. There you go, these. Look amazing. Let's try again, maybe for some better results. Whoa, I like that with green color as well. This one is great too. Actually, let's go with it. Click on this icon and then use as style reference. Now for the composition reference, scroll down. You know what to do. Click here. Let us select name 3D and open. And let's change it to silver text bar on sand. Click on generate. Now this is a bit weird. You know why it's weird? Because the strength is not high stretch it all the way up. Click on generate again. That's looking like something, isn't it? But the sand is just not, you know, it's not just getting into the sand. So we need to change something in Photoshop. Select the topmost layer, create a new layer on top, select the brush. Hard round brush is fine. Let's make it larger. Let's select yellow so that it can just identify the sand. It doesn't really have to be yellow, but it helps. Something like so. Let's fill the rest. Now let's go to file again. Export, quick export as PNG, this name 3D with sand. I highly recommend trying different styles as it depends a lot on it. For example, you wanna go with this one, click on this icon, use as style reference. Let's upload our composition, click here. And this one was ours, click on open. And the text is reflective silver bar on sand and click on generate. You don't really have to add text text here. It just takes care of it as long as the strength is high. And have a look at this. This is so darn good, especially this one. This is insanely good. If you like it, click on upscale and have a look at this. Look at the scratches, little scratches here and there, the sand, the reflection of the sand. So that's how to turn any shape into 3D or real life stuff with Photoshop and Firefly. But I was just wondering, what if you uploaded an actual portrait in here? Can it turn it into something else? Let us try typing in 
old stone ball with dramatic lighting on black background. Hit generate and let's use probably this one as a reference. Click on this icon and then use as style reference. And now we can upload a portrait. Click on this icon inside of composition and let's actually open this actual image portrait. Click on it, open and let us change the text to face stone statue. Don't forget to increase the strength and generate. Does it look like him? I'm not very sure. And this is kind of where it slightly messes up. Now it doesn't give a perfect match, but if you wanted to create something like a human statue or an animal statue, it's just amazing. Look at this one. And I'm sure with time, it's going to replicate that very easily. So that is the combination of Firefly and Photoshop. It's very important that we keep up with the times and learn the latest stuff that is coming in. Because if we don't, other people will and they're going to get ahead very easily. Staying updated is very essential. You know what else is updated? Our courses at PixImperfect.com. Check out PixImperfect Pro. We update the courses with lessons, assets and downloads every month. And right now, the Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals are on, but almost gone. So check it out. I hope this video helped you. I hope you learned something new. And if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks, or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. I've been to the top of Mount Everest. I've sailed the seven seas. I've shared the stage with all the best. A lot of good it did for me.